here from Toronto. I'm here covering my fifth film festival it is the 41st edition though of it and I always get in some miles while I'm here usually training for a marathon but also just spending so much time in a darkened cinema it's awesome to be able to get out and run so I'm going to take in some of the sights and let's go Toronto International Film Festival. When stars aren't walking the red carpet, they're usually hobnobbing inside Soho House over there. Almost like a mini version of New York Summer Street that goes off uh, the street for, for the festival just for the opening weekend, which is really awesome. Well, <laughs> you are Toronto's finest. You guys are so friendly. <laughs> Thanks, great job. <laughs> Enjoy the fest. <laughs> Uh, so the, the whole main street on King Street here in downtown uh, Toronto, the heart of the film festival gets taken over by so many people who come in to see the fest and this is my favourite site. I know I'm back when I turn the corner and see the Roy Thompson Hall and the CN Tower uh, in the background. Roy Thompson Hall is where so many films have premiered uh, this time around. Magnificent Seven premiered there. Spotlight, which I saw here last year, won Best Picture at the Oscars this year. Um, and that's how Toronto Film Festival really developed its, its reputation as being the festival that unofficially kicks off award season, Oscar season. One of my highlights here at the Princess of Wales Theatre was seeing Keith Richards I give a talk after his documentary which premiered here last year, Rolling Stones always, and that's the kind of thing that you get to do at Toronto Film Festival. You see a lot of the stars give Q&As and talk about their films and then you'll hear so much more about them in the coming months, so it's nice to get a head start in a way. What are you guys waiting for? Leo. Leo, did you come? Oh, <laughs> much later, right, in the day. Anyway, good luck, bye. early in the morning because there are hardly any people right now but this is the tip light box the bell light box which they built in 2010 they built this uh, and it's great because they're showing so many great films in there but they've also got exhibitions that take place they've got an incredible Guillermo del Toro one so if you are a fan of the director you can go and check it out if you're in Toronto <laughs> 50 years of Star Trek live <laughs> long and prosper <laughs> Little Nicky's is right around the corner where I spend most of my time Yeah, and they make amazing donuts their coffee is superb so in between film screenings it's essential the Scotiabank Theatre there are usually lines around the block uh, this is where the majority of the press and industry screenings take place so this is where I spend most of my time when I'm at Toronto at the film festival. I've had some pretty life-changing film experiences here. Gravity, 12 Years a Slave, um, I saw that in 2013 along with Prisoners, Dallas Buyers Club, which all just shook me and felt like I had been changed after watching those films. So this is where I usually see those movies and you're with the 5,000 other uh, people who are trying to get in and see the latest films, see what uh, movie stars are bringing out. So this is one of TIFF's biggest cinemas and best. So this is just a short snippet of the Toronto Film Festival, but I like to do a lot of uh, different rundowns of the places that I go to. So if you do enjoy this, please subscribe, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube and check out more episodes of the rundown. I have more movies to go see, so I gotta go. Bye!